curious about, and I touched on this earlier, the way the museum, the Nash, or the contemporary, how you define your position in the, the, a place like Dallas. And, and also, to touch on something Michael said about uh, establishing curiosity and educating an audience, you know, how do you think about, you know, what's your responsibility to make sure that people understand what they're seeing and to get them interested so that there can be those kinds of engagements with people who are making art, you know, and an audience member, an art goer who may realize or may not have realized that they could, they might meet an artist. What do you think about that? Well, you know, I think the Nasher is in a particular position, uh, or maybe I just see it that way, but um, there really isn't any institution quite like us in the world. Uh, and our mission is to look at sculpture broadly, uh, modern and contemporary sculpture. Uh, and so, you know, I think, when I think of what, we do, what we're doing, I'm really thinking of it in those very broad terms. What are, what are the most pressing issues? Who are the key figures? Uh, how does this relate to the history of sculpture? Uh, and, but that said, we're, we're, in, we're in the center of, of an important community. And one of the questions you know, that I ask is, you know, who are the artists here? What are they doing? Uh, and you know, that was sort of one of the first questions I asked when I, when I moved here. And because I do think part of our program has to be working with those artists and showing, showing their work, uh, but also finding other ways to work with them. Uh, education is, is very important. It's a major part of what we do. Uh, and education is both um, you know, about working with schools, working with families, uh, working with children, but I also think very importantly, adult education uh, and uh, creating opportunities for people uh, to meet artists, uh, for artists to meet critics, curators, uh, for, I see really the Nasher as a kind of, broadly speaking, a, a, a kind of cultural center, a place where people come together. Uh, you, we have this great privilege, it's such a beautiful space, such a wonderful place to come. Uh, and it's also intimate. Uh, and you know, there are certain things we can do very well and certain things we just can't do because of considerations of size. And, but treating people with respect, uh, creating a pleasant experience, something that people will enjoy, uh, and pay, creating opportunities for people to interact and making the Nasher kind of a place where people come, can come together to think about art, to talk about art. Um, that's very much something we've, we've been focusing on doing. Well, I mean, you know, I think our record stands for itself where education is concerned, but I think, you know, increasingly what we as colleagues, as a staff are interested in is, you know, it's also a laboratory for investigation and asking questions and looking for new answers to those questions. So not just, you know, what is museum education or what is an experience? You know, I always ask, what is an experience? You know, is it a memorable experience? Is it a forgettable experience? Um, and how do we, how do we gauge that and how do we understand that? And really, you know, we have many nooks and crannies in this museum and we have scores of programs every day that are meant to offer an opportunity for someone to turn a key, to understand something, to see something in a different light, to have access to something. And it can happen on many different scales because of the scope of the collection. But you know, the umbrella for all that, I think, is that we also think of ourselves as a research institute. Like, what do we learn from that? And how we, can we like, maybe change people's you know, enga engagement, the word that gets you know, slung around loosely, you know? with art, like what does that mean? Like really starting to take that apart is something that I think many of us feel is our next you know, great frontier um, in going forward. Peter, I, and I'd like to get you to react to that also and talk a little bit about what you're doing for artists, specifically in the, in the education side. Uh, for us, it's, it's both the same and actually the opposite. We, we're in the design district. We're actually 
non-collecting institution, as I mentioned before, which makes us unique. We have a very large footprint. We have 40,000 square feet. Kind of makes us jumbo in terms of the kind of institutions um, that exist in the United States. Um, we're in a warehouse. We're an anti-museum. Um, we're, we're completely the opposite. And so if that's kind of you know who we are, we, we embrace it because it's very much as I mentioned before about the artists, about putting artists back on the platform uh, or on the pedestal. It's about creating unique opportunities, having artists come in and say, look, we'd like to commission your work. Um, you have 12,000 square feet. That's kind of a daydream. I mean, that's, that's, that's amazing for most artists. And it doesn't matter if they're from Fort Worth, from Denton, or from um, any city in, in the East Coast or West Coast. It's really about making sure that we fulfill our need in terms of what contemporary art is and how we can engage these artists and not worry about failing. Um, failure for us is basically, you know, brushing ourselves off and starting again. And if uh, we can kind of skirt that aspect of success and failure, that for us is, is what we're all about. That's our DNA. And it's always about engaging artists um, to answer your second part of your question. Uh, everything that we do, we engage both. We actually have just two products, learning and ed exhibitions. So for us, it's really a simple business plan. Um, in the learning side, we engage as many artists um, as we can to be part of our Art Thing program working with Dallas Public Schools, really kind of getting out there. Um, the schools, not just higher learning in Texas, but school, all schools, K through 12, need some love in terms of contemporary art. Art, any, actually any art at this point. Um, you know, the, the whole aspect of not having art, for me, is kind of scary. And so we feel, just like we do, projects outside with artists, on a kind of grand scale and engage communities. For us, it's really important to be in the schools too and to get artists to go to schools, to connect with kids, because you never know. I mean, it's, there could be a unique connection that's made there and hopefully one or two or a dozen or 200 children's lives are changed for the better because they met somebody and they thought it was cool and you know they want to know more and, and hopefully their parents bring uh, us to or bring them to us or to one of the other institutions, it really kind of doesn't matter, but it's about changing lives and trying to be positive. It's true, as you mentioned before, Dallas and Texas is super optimistic, very positive, very, very friendly, but it's how do we keep that energy going and engaging the artists and giving them freedom to kind of touch as many lives as possible. 